Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here a couple days late with my what I have been warming. So I traded this essentially with the Bring Back My Bar video Corey and I did. So that's why it's going up today. And I will have another one up on Sunday. So it'll be kind of a weird short like turnaround, but these are last week's scents. And the next two, what I've been warming, will strictly be bring back my bars. So I wanted to kind of keep those separate. So let's get into it. It's going to be my weekly wrap up here of what we did around the house. So I'm going to start off with pods. I have zombie punch going in the bathroom. I kind of have not been using less pods, but using pods kind of in a little bit less capacity i guess not in as many spaces so i did have pods like in the bedroom in the air purifier in the bathroom downstairs in the air purifier like i had multiple places my work air purifier and i've kind of literally just been using like one in my car um in the mini fan and then the bathroom so a lot less pod usage but using zombie punch in there now this was um as you can see it has like kind of a little bit of a Halloween theme zombie punch, but it's very fruity. So using it right now and then finished up some Bora Bora Blossom. This I got in a flash sale or something. I really do enjoy that scent for the springtime. Okay, let's get into the next little set of bars I did. Maybe I'll do a little honorable mention here. So because I haven't been using my pods at work, I've have my air purifier there still, but I've been doing some wax melting there instead. And so I've been trying to take scents that are a little bit on the lighter spectrum, just so I'm not like blowing everybody out of the house. Um, so right now, I think I've been doing pineapple, coconut, vanilla for the most part. I brought Honeymoon Hideaway because I thought that this would be like, this is a lighter scent in my opinion. So I thought it would be nice. So I tried to cube a bit. I literally couldn't smell it. I don't know if it was just like the combination of everything going on at work, like, you know, the environment there, but I could not smell it at all. So I brought the bar back home. I think I'm gonna try it in the bedroom here at home. I really love the scent of this and I thought it would thrive at work just because it's a like lower, usually things are so strong at work because they're just like not a lot of scent penetration if you will like it's not like my house here where I have like wax just sitting candles just sitting warmers on candles going like none of that's happening there I have like a plug-in in the conference room I have a, a fragrance flower in the bathroom and that's about it like there's very low scent in back and usually that means scents are so much better there this was not. So I don't know what the deal was with that. I'm going to do it here at my house because I really do love this scent. So I ended up bringing this home. I intended to just leave it at work and use it up, but brought it back home. Okay, let's get into the warming at home. If you're not following me on Instagram, I've been posting my, like every time I change out my wax, I've been posting what I'm putting in. So you may have already seen these, but I'll give you some reviews on them. So I believe I did these three together. I finished up, <laughs> if you were here last week, finished up peony petals in the bedroom. This is the scent that Corey was complaining about last week that he said he couldn't stand. Well, I used it up again in the bedroom and he said nothing. So that's just how it goes. I figured that would be the case. And that's why I was like, I'm just going to do it again. Of course, if he says he hates it, I'm at the end of the bar. So I'll just take it out. But he said nothing. I left it in the same exact amount of time. Don't know if that was just a weird fluke. Like it was a combo of something we were cooking that really set him off with that set in the bedroom. But I did it again in the bedroom and he didn't say anything. So that was funny. Um, downstairs i'm calling the man cave but downstairs i did ocean air and coconut water i only had two cubes of this left so i wanted to just use it up this is a really beautiful scent this was from the summer collection last year i didn't club it or anything because i do have some other coconuts that i like more but honestly once it was going i was like dang this scent's really nice 
and I don't have any more of it, but that's okay. Used up a bar. I was just really happy to kind of empty some things and then emptied out another bar. Used this in the open concept. This is very bright and holy cow was she strong. I find that this is one of those scents that I'm almost like nervous to warm until I put it in and then I'm like oh my gosh it's so good why did I wait so long so definitely if you're like a sweet berry like it's almost like a blue raspberry slushy type it's super sweet but it's very very strong very much like a blue raspberry feel it was very tasty so um probably won't do this like again until maybe like next spring season. I feel like this is just kind of like a spring scent to me. I'm kind of doing bring back my bar, but I want to start getting into my more like coconutty feel. I feel like it's time for me to get into these summer scents, but this one was nice. I think the coconut in this really, really got me excited for what's to come. Okay. Then my next wax change after that one, I did a brick theme. I was like, you know what I need to do? Work on some bricks. So I did, I just did all bricks for the day. So I worked on some coconut lemongrass. Here is the status of this brick. I need to do a brick update video. I have so many bricks I have accumulated over the last probably year because we got a brick at SFR. So I really got two because Corey and I both went. And then um, I think I got some more bricks throughout like my club because you can get bricks through your club. They had bricks in the fall winter catalog. So I picked up one of those. I picked up multiple of the seasonal bricks. Like I have accumulated a lot of bricks over the past <laughs> year. So I was like, I really need to start working through them. I pulled out all my summer ones just so I can focus on them. So anyway, I need to do a collection update, but here's the current status of coconut lemongrass. This one is... I feel like it sounds scarier than it is. Lemongrass in the name makes it feel kind of scary. At least it did to me always. But it's really just like a very, very fresh coconut with honestly, maybe like a hint of a lemony type scent or something. Like, I don't feel like lemongrass. I don't know. I, I feel like it's mostly just coconut. And you kind of almost get like a hint of a lemon scent along with it. So once again, really, really strong scent. Really nice. Did this through the open concept. And that's how I was able to use up a couple of cubes on this. But I do really like this one. Once again, no. I just don't reach for my bricks. I just need to keep using them. So also worked on sea salt and avocado. I don't know if I put a whole entire brick cube in. There's a good chance that I did. Because I did this in the bedroom. This scent to me... Once again, this is a scent that maybe seems scary. Sea salt and avocado. You might be like, what am I getting myself into? Is this going to be a salad? It's just like the freshest scent you can ever think of. Like it doesn't even smell green fresh. Like this green is intimidating. It doesn't smell green. It just smells so fresh. I think it even has orange in it. Like that's a scent note. It just smells so incredibly fresh, but I feel like this one, it kind of, it's not like heavy, but it can be kind of intense. And so normally I do it in like an August, September timeframe. So I was like, should I put it in? Should I use it right now? But it was one of my older bricks. It's from May, 2022. So I was like, I want to kind of work on it. Like I was trying to focus on some of the older ones I had. So I popped it in. It was so nice in the bedroom. I feel like once again, I am nervous to do these scents, but then I put them in and I'm like, holy cow, they're great. And the same scenario for this next scent I'm going to talk about, blueberry cheesecake. I feel like this is one that I'm so intimidated by all the time. And then I pop it in and I'm like, why don't I warm this more often? So it literally smells like what it sounds like, blueberry cheesecake. If you are not into like if lactonic milky type scents upset your stomach maybe wouldn't go for this one because I do get a bit of that like lactonic milky cheesecake note but I feel like when it's warming it's not as intense but honestly if you smell it on cold you might be like gagging if you're like not into those types of scents because it's very like heavy on cold sniff once it's warming it's a beautiful blend of blueberry and cheesecake I love it. It's so good. 
I always am like nervous to warm it and then I pop it in. I'm like, what the heck? It's so good. So I have two cubes of this used. I did this in my like kitchen morning warmer. And so another scent I did in my kitchen morning warmer, which I just have set up over this past like week since we have talked last, I was like, what if I, before I was doing my scents throughout the open concept, like a little bit in the kitchen, a little bit in the like living area. I moved all my open concept warmers to like one kind of concentrated area in the open concept. And then I took the warmer in the kitchen and I kind of have it designated to go off in the mornings. So as we're waking up, as we're making coffee, like kind of just that like morning scent. And my intention was to like try to use some more like bakery coffee, like morning scents in that warmer because I probably for the next at least three months ish am not going to be want to I'm not going to want to be doing like heavy bakery throughout the house in the evenings that's I'm in my summer mode so that's just like not it wasn't going to work out so I was like what can I do and I used to like light a candle in the morning which was working great but I've been <laughs> been waking up a little bit later these days and not quite spending as much time in the mornings I've been kind of just like going through the steps and getting out the door and so if it's not even going to be at least one whole hour of like letting the candle go I just don't really see the point of it and then I always worry like did I put the candle out did I whatever like I don't I just have kind of wanted to eliminate that from my mind so I was like what alternatives do I have so I've been using like a morning warmer if you will which is just a kitchen in or a warmer in the kitchen and I have it on an auto timer to go off in the morning so I popped in I still have some vendor wax that I'm still attempting to work through and this is very old you guys but it's rose girls a sweet princess party this is from December of 2021 I only have two cubes left I've had problems with this scent in the past but you guys I just popped it right in the morning warmer and it was beautiful for multiple days I was so happy with its performance I'm using the not glisten uh Oh my gosh, I don't know the name of it. It's like all the broken, is it called crushed diamond? It's like all the broken glass. And I don't know that it's available anymore. I'm using that. It's only a 20 watt warmer. Um, I think it's called crushed diamond. But this just goes to show, I feel like you can use any warmer because it's a 20 watt and it's doing really well. So I was kind of nervous because it's only a 20 watt that it wouldn't do well with this. Like it wouldn't be strong enough no problems. So happily going to use up the rest of this. I have a lot of coffee scents that I have in vendor wax or like just really heavy bakery scents like this one. Um, and I also have like really heavy bakery scents that are also scentsy. So I'm really, really excited for my morning warmer kind of situation. And I feel like now I get to mix in those things with my other since I'm warming. So enough about that. Let's get into the candles and then we'll wrap up this video. So this first candle is actually a carryover from the week prior. Um, I had been doing a lemon scent, I believe. Was it the Harry Potter lemon scent? Some kind of lemon scent. So I was working on this candle, which is Homeworks Lemon Cello Cupcake. And last time I was telling you guys I was having trouble with this one pooling out all the way and like really puny wicks. And it kind of somewhat corrected itself. It does still have those white tips but not as intense as it did. I didn't cotton ball it. I didn't do anything. I was going to cotton ball it after this burn, but it actually on this side, as you can see, it reached the edge. So it started kind of just correcting itself a little bit. Is it perfect? No. Like obviously we still have all this, but I'm a little bit more hopeful now that it kind of started to self-correct in a way. So yeah, some of you also commented that you've had problems with lemon cello cupcakes. So I'm not, I don't I feel like this is a somewhat common occurrence for me with homeworks like I feel like the jar is just so wide across it doesn't always pull out the best but I don't get bothered by this stuff like I'm not a huge if it doesn't pull out all the way it's a trash candle like I'm more worried about the smell and the throw so yeah but anyway I really like this scent 
love limoncello cupcake. Hoping I have some other lemon scents I can kind of like mix this in and use it over these next couple months because I do really love this one. Uh, I also worked on the Country Candle Blue Raspberry. I did this when I had the Berry Bright going because I felt like they kind of were in the same scent family. This is a country candle. <laughs> it's in the new like soy formula. So it's not a paraffin candle, but it's kind of in that jar style. Um, this is one of those scents that I feel like smells way better when it's going versus like cold in the jar. So it kind of smells very similar to these. It's not as sweet as the Berry Bright. So I feel like they kind of helped balance each other out a little bit because this one's a little bit more like sour, but I used this maybe twice and I feel like you can't even tell. Like these scents just last forever in these country candle jars just because there's so much wax and they're not like super hot fast burners. So me and hair, uh, her, as in this candle, we'll be together for quite a while because <laughs> look at that. I feel like I have barely used it and I believe it probably started like up here. So like I've barely used it and I feel like I've lit it multiple times. Okay. And then lastly, to go along when I was doing the blueberry cheesecake, of course I popped in Homeworks at blueberry cheesecake because so fitting, right? This is a three wick. And once again, look at that. I feel like white tips not pulled out of the way. I lit it multiple times as I feel like you can tell from like the edges on this. I, I, can you see like the step down in the like tunneling situation? So this one is definitely at some point going to get crocked. I don't know that I want to crock it quite yet, but it's from poor date September of 2022. I mean, maybe at some point, but I feel like if I'm going to work on some blueberry cheesecake coming up, like I can keep working on this until I feel like it's to the point of no return. Um, but I do have my crock currently open. So I, I need to pop something in there. I just don't know that I want it to be that quite yet. We'll see how I feel, but that was a lot of chatting and rambling for not really that much things like uh, wax melts to talk about. Like I don't really have that many things in my basket and I really rambled, so apologies. But the next two, what I've been warming will be on Bring Back My Bars because I'm testing those over the next two weeks. And they should, both those videos should be up before July 1st if you want to know my thoughts to make your lists. So that's what I have going. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to see anything else specific. Just leave it down below in the comments. But um, I feel like this is one of my favorite videos to actually just like share what I thought about the sense. And I, I feel like it gets really good feedback. Like, so let me know if you like this style. But I've been enjoying doing this weekly. Let me know what you think. I'll be back on Sunday with another one. See you guys later. Bye-bye.